What's up, everybody? Blue Gabe. Y'all let me tell you about my day. Whew. Well, we got something on this crazy rough day. This is the only good edible fish we caught besides the barracuda. Jake did catch a barracuda. Yeah. Bring him up there. Big old cuda. Big on, big on. Oh, that is a big one. That a big guy. One more pop. There we go. We got some cobia chum now, Jake. Come over here. Yeah, can we keep that for Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a good one. Now we can try to chum up the cobia. This is why we okay. use circle hooks right there. 40 pound test leader hooked in the corner of the mouth. And look at those teeth. Let's see if it bites like sheep. No, stop. We're going to cut this joker up for chum in a minute. We'll save some for dinner, but we're going to use him for chum. It was so gnarly rough. All week long, I've been excited for today because the weatherman said it was supposed to be calm and look at it, it's just blowing. But I do have a really interesting story to tell you. First though, I'm gonna clean this awesome rainbow runner because we're going to Fujiyama, which is a hibachi restaurant near my house that has some awesome sushi chefs and they're gonna make this for us tonight at dinner. This is actually one of the biggest rainbow runners I've ever seen. I think I saw one bigger than this one time when I was younger in a dolphin tournament. It was actually following a big hammerhead shark, which is really interesting because today we saw some huge hammerhead sharks. You guys, we have a bunch of hammerheads at the boat right now. How cool is that? Look at them. Wait, Dad, you try to catch one. Luke, oh, hold your rod, right, Luke. Come in here, pop that shoulder. That's all you have to do. I was so excited today. I'm like, I'm gonna bring this sushi chef some seriously good snapper or something. Nope, I'm showing up with Rainbow Runner. Luke and Jake and his buddy Blake were not having that boat trip today. Look at that. It doesn't look like the most Amazing fish you'll ever eat, but I guarantee you it's going to be good. I thought that was a worm right there. Now, I need y'all to leave a comment below because I'm gonna show you something right now. I've not often seen what I'm about to show y'all, but I'm gonna show you my buddy Adam behind the camera just how many times he missed the gaff on this one. Let's roll the clip. Ooh, I was not expecting that. This ain't the time for that. This is not the time for that. This is serious. All right, take two. Go still. He is sure as feisty. I'm new! I'm new! I don't know what to do! <laughs> I'm over top of his head. Over top of his head. There you go. What do you have to say about yourself? You need a bigger gaff. <laughs> we'll be right back to that awesome video in just a second. But first, I needed to take a minute and tell you about Fishing Clash. Now, Fishing Clash is a game on my iPhone, and it's also available on Android as well. It allows me to go fishing on days like today when it's blowing 40 miles an hour and I can't fish here. It also allows me to travel all over the world in places like Hawaii, uh, the Middle East, freshwater, saltwater, catching all kinds of awesome fish. Uh-oh. One of the cool things, you can use spinning reel and conventional. Oh, you gotta stay up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This fish is huge. Big ol' yellowtail. It also allows me to go dual. That means I can have tournaments on here. I can fish against you watching me right now. I can fish with people all over the world. They also have an awesome new thing coming up on Earth Week, April 18th through the 25th. 
the new in-game green activation, which allows fishing class to raise awareness among players. By playing, you'll be able to help plant trees in the Amazon. Use my gift code FISH with Blue Gabe to get a special reward for a total value of $20. With my gift code, you'll get a 3-star rod, 1 mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and a 30 weight power-up to help you catch bigger fish. So make sure you download Fishing Clash today, and let's go fishing. All right, let's knock the skin off this bad boy. I know it is crazy bloody. I hope this chef has something good up his sleeves. Oh my lord. Lord have mercy. He better really have a good recipe. That is a bloody fish. Good thing we got a bunch of critters in the fish tank that want to eat this stuff I think we can get it doable though now if for some of y'all wondering why I'm complaining about that blood to me and a lot of us that bloodline is really crazy fishy and you don't really notice it until you bite into a chunk of it in a meal that you know, isn't so slam packed full of flavors and spices. You eat this on sushi and you get a big chunk of that bloodline in your mouth and you'll know it. Kelly's in her shower and the boys are in the yard playing football. Adam and I just cleaned the boat and we are dang sure hungry. We're gonna take him this one nice loin. Look at that. All right, we're gonna run in there, get dressed, probably shower first. Then we'll see y'all in the car on the way to the restaurant because we got a bunch of good footage to come. So here she is in all her glory. Look at her pink shorts, nice little top. Everybody's clean. Even though the boys took out all the hot water, I had to take a cold shower, so I'm not gonna lie, I probably didn't use very much. So I really just like dipped underneath the water for a second and dried off. So back to this morning I haven't really explained what we did all week long the forecast showed today being flat calm zero seas I was so excited the boys had off for school and we got up this morning it was flat calm ready to go by the time we put the boat in the water there was a huge storm pushing in so we sort of waited on that a little bit then I said we're gonna run down and try to catch bait got our butts handed to us going to catch bait came all the way back the bait was right out in front of Stewart Inlet caught it the storms actually subsided a little bit so we headed offshore and that's where we caught this big rainbow runner and Jake nice. caught his barracuda Whoa. Luke caught a grunt believe it or not you got a big tuna on son can we talk about the hammerheads now oh my god it was amazing I actually wanted to get in and snorkel because the water was top to bottom did you film the glass I did get a little clip oh, of that, Oh yeah, yes. look at how clear this water is. Absolutely insane. We were actually at the sand piles for any of y'all that are from this area. And the water is never really that clear there. It looked as clear as air. And guess what? What's up? I forgot the fish in the refrigerator. We'll be right back. We gotta turn around. But we can send Luke and them to get our table. Yeah. Go figure. This is what happens when you rush all the time. We forget fish. I actually put it in the refrigerator to cool it down. So we'll see y'all at Fujiyama's in about, I don't know, right now. Thank you very much. This is so good. I don't even have to cook. I can sit here and mow down this food because I am starving. Marty ate my whole bowl of clear soup. Are you already done? <sighs> yeah. The life of Luke. Y'all check this out. Is that a clear soup for you? Oh my goodness, there's some hollow. You know what this looks like? Um, down at Dibs in Key West, a little bit yeah. of a dish he made for you. What is that? Oh, that looks flowers. amazing. That looks good. So it looks like they uh, squeeze maybe some lemon or lime over the fish to see how it's a little white. Look at Adam, dig in. All right, let's do this. I'm intrigued by the sauce. Look at Jake just steals the flour. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. You like it? What is that sauce? I'm a little spooked of the jalapeno though. Mm. Is the jalapeno a lot hot? No, you didn't need it either. 
How's that flower treating you? Good. Try a piece of this fish, the little piece right there. Blake, you want to try a piece? Come on. Just this pick it up with your fingers. Is this is good right here. The whole thing in your mouth. Whatever that sauce is. Is it good? Yeah, it's good. Hold on, let me up in here. This is amazing. Get that sauce up on there. But can you use chopsticks? Mmm, mmm, mmm. so good. Like good better. choice to come in here. This one's better. Really? I like that one. Yeah. That jalapeno's fire. Just one rainbow runner, and we have a meal that can feed at least 10 people. Ooh, that was hot. Woo. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy moly. Why do you want to sleep? That's my plate you right there. You have to eat with us. I, ho I hope you're hungry. I'm thank you. Thank you. This looks very fresh. Thank you very much, Jeff. Thank you. Whoa. That's a heavy plate. That is intense. Look at this. I knew they were going to make more. Rainbow Runner Sashimi. Is it real? Boys. Boys will be boys. I'm sorry. I'm a big fan of this one. Yeah, the, the spicy gives it a nice kick. You guys, everything here is amazing. One fish, a meal that can feed at least 15. But don't go anywhere just yet, because on the ride home, we have some amazing footage yet to come. Y'all hear that right now? Listen, babe, do you hear that? You know what that is? peace and quiet. The boys are at their mom's house. We had an awesome time having Blake over for the weekend. Unfortunately for him, all day yesterday was rough. We don't have any footage really of the beginning of the day. Because it was so rough, I was taking waves over the bow on the contender, just trying to go catch bait. And I had my steering pump go out. So all day yesterday on that fishing trip, not only was it rough, it was calm for like an hour in the middle. And that's really what messed us up the most because we ran offshore even farther and then another round of storms just clobbered us. So Kelly's gonna take a second and show you guys what some of the stuff she's doing on her channel. And for those of y'all who don't know, this is Kelly Young. She's my girlfriend, she's also a YouTuber and she's starting to do some cool home projects here at the house. Because we are always on the go, she's trying to bring some of her attention back here to the house. She's got a new something coming in a couple weeks right when we get home from Nebraska that... <laughs> I haven't even said that on my I know, yet. that's why I'm not even... <laughs> Y'all don't even have a clue what this is. But let me introduce to you her newest... I don't... It sort of looks like a buzzard, like one of the red-headed buzzards, but let's just show you. Babe, did they not have any pretty turkeys? It was a free turkey, so, you know... Redneck. Hey. Psst. Hello. Redneck. So what are some of the things you plan on doing here in the future? Well, hopefully I can get the chickens and the turkey to be nice to each other because right now my chickens are um, not very nice chickens. But I, I go in there for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes a day and I take the chickens out and the turkey and I just kind of sit there and like make sure they don't kill each other, but you know, try to bond them at the same time. I also have bananas. Let's go show them. I'm excited. Listen, I planted these trees a year ago, pretty much a year ago exactly. And about four months ago, Gabe's like, you need to cut down the trees because there's no bananas. I'm like, I just planted them. <laughs> but now we have bananas, so I'm super excited for that. So we can have banana and chicken dumplings. And turkey legs. And turkey legs. 
So one other thing I want to talk to you guys about and I need your advice is look at this huge space. So on the other side of my house is where we keep all the boats and the side-by-sides and the duck boat and all that stuff. But look at all this space right here. We have to do something with it and make it look really awesome. So I cut those two coconut trees down because they started dropping coconuts through the screen enclosure, which if you have one, you know how expensive each one of those panels are. This tree actually went up and leaned over. So we have this huge area, which she has conveniently planted a couple of random bushes and trees out in the middle of the open area. There's a well, fruit tree and those are some blueberry bushes right there. That's Jake's target. So we need you guys to leave us a comment below. Look at all this space. I think this is at least as big as a basketball field. So we can take these stumps out. I don't really want to cut this coconut tree down because it is so pretty. That tree can go. We got all this room. So leave a comment below. Try to make it realistic. It's got to be something that we can actually do. But I definitely want all of y'all's opinion on what we should do with this area. I can possibly move the chicken coop too, either here or over there. I really want to do a big pond like what Robert has at his house and Paul Kafara has at his. But there's so much maintenance and we're gone so, so much. We travel pretty much all the time. I'm leaving tomorrow. Tomorrow's Easter Sunday. Tomorrow night I fly to Oklahoma, come home for two days. We're doing an outdoor show at the Palm Beach County Fairgrounds that if you want to meet me and Kelly and the kids and my family, we will all be there next weekend, April 23rd and 24th. The outdoor expo at the Palm Beach County Fairgrounds will all be there. And then the day after that, we leave and go to Nebraska. And then we come home and we go to the Bahamas. And we come home, we go to California. We're going to San Diego. So we definitely can't have something that takes too much of our time. What you got? So I have had this pet turkey for less than a week. Day two and day three, it ate out of my hand. So I'm going to see if I can't do it again. Come on, Redneck. Get in there for backup. No. Come on. Make your best turkey noise. <laughs> it literally looks like one of the buzzards with the red head. It does. You want to come right here? I was trying not to scare it. I think if you just squat down right there, you'll be all right. It might sense my hunting, whatever I'm, that word is I'm looking for. You're making progress, babe. Chickens are a lot more like selective with their food. This thing just like <laughs> opens his mouth all the way. Just <laughs> it's kind of funny. Good. I don't even know what to call it. Like good girl or good boy. I don't know. Come over here, look. Come here. What you doing? All right, so I'm sitting here editing the video that you're watching right now, and I just realized that I completely forgot to show you guys the best footage of the day. So we stopped yesterday morning and bought some live bait from a guy. His name is actually Ryan. He sells live bait in Stewart Inlet and we bought some from him. Well, we didn't end up using much of it because it got so rough, like I've already said like 10 times in this video. Well, when we came back, there's a ton of pelicans at the boat ramp and I've got to just roll a couple of these clips right now for y'all to watch because it's probably the most entertaining thing we did all day. We never do what you're about to see because we typically use all of our bait. Yesterday was just one of those days, and if you ever have bait left over, just go to the boat ramp. You can have a blast. Y'all just watch this. Here. Oh, it slipped out of my hand. Oh, and it still came out of his mouth. Did it hurt? No, I don't want him to snap at me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that hurt. A little bit. Yeah, I ain't trying that. Here, buddy. Wait, what did he do? Oh, yeah, the water. Hit that guy. He's so dumb. He missed the guitar. Jake, come here. He's coming on the boat. Oh, here. he's got a, he's got a lure. Let me see. Look at that wound. Get that out of there. 
Can I get a thank you, Pelican? Hey. Can I get a thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. I got to get Luke to hand feed one. Come here, Luke. No. Come on. No. Come here. Dad, I don't want to do it. Luke, watch. It doesn't hurt. What's up? Look. Look, Luke, he's oh, he's yeah. not hurting me. I did it. I did it. I literally did it. He get it so fast. Here, this guy I'll eat out of your hand. You're welcome. Ow, Luke, he got me. Here, you hold it. No. <laughs> he bit my leg. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Shane! 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 Hold on, stay here. You ready, Luke? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> What's up, G? What's up, G Money? Hold it and don't let go of it, Luke. Don't let go of it, don't let go of it. Just hold it up there. Who's ready? He's a wide receiver. Oh! Exactly. <laughs> That's oh, kind of choke one. Who's getting it? Okay, someone got it. I gotta cut hold it up first. Hold on. Bring that home for dinner. Kelly, I found a dead shrimp. Feed it to one of them pelicans. Oh, <laughs> he wanted it. He wanted that one. I technically hand fed it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's a wrap. I got to give a huge shout out to Fishing Clash. I don't promote very many video games, but if I'm going to promote one, it's going to be Fishing Clash. I don't mind if my kids sit in the room and play it because it's an awesome game. I even play it myself. Right now though, this video is ending. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Kelly Young and myself's channel, Blue Gabe, hit that subscribe button. That way, each time we upload, you guys get notified right away. But right now, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.